Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw a Pachycephalosaurus. Now, to start off with this, I'm going to begin with the eye. So I want to start the eye right about here, and I'm just going to make a small kind of oval shape like this. Then right above it, I'm going to add a little curved line, and I'm also going to put a little curved line underneath it. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to kind of curve above, and it's going to go down. And then starting back, or actually I should say we'll start up here. I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up, and then it's going to kind of curve in like a nice tall bump like this. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. It's going to kind of angle down like this. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it back up like this for the mouth. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up, and then it's going to kind of curve out, and then it's going to kind of come around here to kind of form the shape of the head. Now, right along here, they have some little kind of spikes and everything going on. So I'm just going to kind of add a few little kind of spike shapes around here. Nothing too crazy, just a few that get a little bit smaller as they kind of go around. Then I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of curves down here. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up, and it goes right to here. And then I'm going to draw a long curved line for the back of the body. And then I'm going to make a nice long tail that kind of curves out here. Now right here I'm going to add a few little kind of curved lines to show like some wrinkles in the neck. And then I'm going to make a little line that just kind of goes down and curves up. Then right here I'm going to make a little line that just kind of goes down and then it's going to angle down here. And then I'm going to make a little line that kind of curves around for some little fingers. They have really small little hands. And then I'm going to take this line, I'm going to curve up, and then it's going to kind of run right into here. Then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of angle down. It's going to curve up a little bit. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down, and that's going to kind of curve along here. Make a line that just goes down at an angle, and then kind of curves down. I'm going to make a little line that's going to kind of curve down here, and then it's going to come back up. Then I'm just going to kind of redraw this shape on the other side, just kind of go out. I'm going to kind of curve up like this. And then I'm just going to make a big line that's going to kind of curve around here. Then right here I'm going to add a little line that's going to curve down for another toe. Then starting here I'm just going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve around. It's going to go up and then kind of come to a point right here by the tail. Then right back here I'm going to add the other leg. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down. It's going to kind of angle down here. The little line is going to go down. It's going to kind of curve back and then come up here. There's going to be a little line that goes down and up for a little toe. Then I'm just going to go up. I'm going to kind of curve in and then kind of curve back up. So it looks like it's in motion, like it's getting ready to charge. Then I'm going to add an extra little line right here. And then starting here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's going to kind of curve down like this. And I'm going to add a couple more little fingers for the hand. And then draw a little line. It's going to curve up here. Then I'm going to add a few little kind of curved lines for some claws. And I'm just going to add a little curved line here with another one above it. So here's our basic drawing. Now we just want to add all of the different details on it. So right up here, I'm going to add a little curved line or a little kind of colored in circle for the nostril. 
little line underneath here for the mouth. And then just kind of a little line that just kind of goes around just to show where the mouth is. I'm going to add just a couple little kind of curved lines right around here by the eye and everything just to kind of show some detail. They're going to have a few kind of little spikes kind of going around here. Going to add just a couple little curved lines right around here for the head. A couple little curved lines on the neck. Then it's kind of a long little like broken line going down here. Add a couple little curved lines kind of around here for where the arms are connected in there. I'm going to add a couple little curved lines right on here for the legs. Add just a few curved lines in some places where like the skin kind of meets and everything just for like some wrinkles. I'm going to add another little kind of toe right back here. Add some more kind of little broken lines just kind of going around here just to show some detail. Put some little curves where the fingers are. And then just a couple little curved lines. Just a little broken lines just in some different spots around here. I'm going to add just some kind of long kind of curved lines right around the head here just to show that's kind of this big heavy bone plate. And then just a couple little more curved lines kind of in some different spots. A couple little broken lines right around here. Some kind of details for like the knee and the legs. And there's a couple little detailed lines all around here just to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Pachycephalosaurus. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.